Hi, I'm Van, and today I want to talk to you about one of, if not my current favorite, piece of kit uh, in the project. Um, I'm talking to you about the big old black drawer sitting in the back of my truck, my deck drawer system. Um, so before I go into too many specifics about these drawers, uh, I want to start with fielding a simple question, why would you install drawers in the back of your truck? Um, for me, it came out of a necessity of organization. I had been running a very simple, very rudimentary system of tubs and bags in the back of my truck when I would go camping or when I'd go on adventures and just generally hauling stuff around. And there was always kind of some loose bags wandering around, sliding around, and I never really had a good system for securing everything well. And I always suffered from the issue of, you know, inevitably the way I packed everything and the organization that I packed everything with quickly got disrupted on any trip. And so there'd just be stuff thrown everywhere and it would never quite fit together the same way whenever you're out there, out in the world. And if you needed one small thing, if, you know, if it got pushed to the back, now you have to dig through all this crap or unpack half your truck. So. I had got it in my head that I wanted to do some kind of a drawer system. It's, it's huge in the Overland community. You see a lot of guys running them and building them. But when you're building them for like an SUV, like a Wrangler or a Land Cruiser or something like that, you're dealing with a relatively short drawer, so it's pretty easy to do a do-it-yourself kit. It's a little more daunting when you're dealing with a bigger five and a half foot truck bed. Um, and so I had looked into doing it myself, and by the time I factored in you know, some of the costs associated with doing that, um, you know, if you do a traditional drawer slide um, design where you're using like a heavy duty, you know, 60 inch drawer slide, those are really expensive, especially if you want something of quality, especially if you want something that locks in, locks out, or if you want to add any kind of security. And then you account for the fact that I've never done this before and I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm totally guessing. It got to the point where I was like, is this really cost effective versus buying, my, buying a system? The problem with buying a system had always been the cost, and it was one of the biggest things that kind of kept me from doing it. A lot of the ones that I had priced out from uh, different companies were in the three, four thousand dollar price range, and then that price even went up more once you started adding additions to it. And so for me, it had always been cost prohibitive until I saw the deck system. I picked up the deck system back in February of 2016, and for me, this has been an absolute game changer. Um, it makes organizing the truck bed incredibly simple. It's a really well thought out system. They did years of engineering before they actually rolled the product out and it's really, really obvious. Um, so I'm gonna go into, I'm not gonna go into too much depth with the installation because there's already a lot of videos. Maybe I'll include some, some links in the description below. The one thing that I will highlight though is the removal of the system. The installations are very simple. These are very well thought out. They're engineered for each individual truck and the fit is really good and it's a no drill installation so there's no mangling of your truck bed. Everything bolts right in. That said, removal of the drawer should you need to is really simple as well. If you unbolt the four um, essentially gigantic oversized industrial skateboard wheels that hold the drawers in, you unbolt those, every other bolt down the center, you remove this stainless steel trim piece, and then the four bolts for the ammo can. One person, if you're reasonably strong, can get these drawers out. In fact, I've even gone as far as to remove the drawers with gear in them, although if they're really hit, laden down with gear, that might be one challenging and two, maybe not a good idea in general. But generally, removing the system is, is really, really easy. And there's a variety of reasons you might wanna do that. Maybe you need to free up more space in your bed. Maybe you need to clean it out. Um, maybe you need to move it to another truck. But it's really simple. They've made it a really straightforward operation. Uh, the system itself is made primarily of HDP. It's a heavy duty, high impact plastic. Uh, Almost all of the hardware is stainless steel. The only spots that aren't stainless steel are spots that aren't gonna see the elements anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It's a nice little way to kind of save, uh, save a little bit of money in the construction of it. And it's really, really well put together. The top of the bed is rated for 2,000 pounds, uh, which is about the hauling capacity of my, my truck, so that in no way limits me. And then each individual drawer is rated for 200 pounds. The system itself, according to DECT, weighs about 200 pounds. And, and believe me, when you get the pallet, the little, you know, the heavy duty cardboard pallet it ships on, you can tell it feels like it's about, uh, about 200 pounds. It, it adds a little bit of weight to the truck. And it's, you know, it's a big intimidating package. But all in all, it, it really is a well put together system. I have put a lot of weight on the top of this, the DECT system, and it really has held up well. I put a lot of weight in these drawers and it holds up really, really, really well. 
Um, it's got this nice stainless steel trim piece along the front, which gives you, you know, your standard screw sizes. Also gives you a lot of conversion factors. There's a ruler on there, which can come in really, really handy. And also comes with this really rad uh, stainless steel bottle opener right on the front. Uh, Dect also offers a really good series of accessories. The first one to bring up is the one that I really don't think you can't not have, and it's the drawer dividers. Uh, they are not included with the system. I really think they should be. I kind of feel like the system's not terribly useful without them. And there's several spaces in each drawer where you can install uh, install the drawer dividers so that you can kind of compartmentalize so stuff isn't rolling around in the drawers. Uh, the one thing I will say about these is if you overload an individual compartment or something that flexes, these will bend. I've never had one break, but I have had one warp on me before. The good news is they're, they're not terribly expensive, and if you're already ordering the drawer system, a couple extra bucks for these isn't a big deal. Uh, they also offer uh, a decked box, which is essentially a toolbox. I haven't gotten one yet. I'd like to. I'd like to give it a try. It seems like a good idea. It fits right in the drawer. It's got dividers in and of itself. Uh, they also offer a system of plugs for the bottom of the drawer so that you can load them up with ice and your beverages of choice. And then whenever you're done tailgating or whatever you're doing, you can actually just drain all the water out by popping the plug out. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, these little inserts here in the front can be removed and you can install locks so that you can provide a little bit more security. Although I have a little bit of a better system, I think, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. And they also offer, uh, for an extra hundred bucks, a system of L-Track, so just to say an aluminum cargo track, <coughs> that you can put um, attachment points on because when you do install this, you do lose your tie down points in the bed of your truck. So you need some sort of system for um, replacing that, what I think is an absolute essential necessity of a truck bed. I didn't go with the surface mounted uh, L track anchor system. I kind of came up with my own system. Um, a couple of the accessories that I have installed and that also I found incredibly helpful, I intend to do a bed mat. So that is to say I plan to get some like quarter inch uh, stable mat and put that on the top, cut it to fit. Uh, there's a couple reasons I like that idea. One, this top surface is kind of slick, so stuff can slide around. It'd be nice to have some traction. Uh, it would also make climbing back here less, uh, less unpleasant. Climbing in the, uh, in the back of my truck, especially with the, the low clearance topper, can be kind of painful. Um, and like I said, it also provides the friction so this stuff doesn't slide around. I didn't opt for the service mount deck system that actually just screws right into the cross struts of the top of the, the deck of the decked. Um, what I did was an anchor track system that runs along the bed rails. And so that I can take a tub, I can add attachment points, and I can attach it directly to the bed rails. I might still get the top mount anchor tracks at some point, but the system that I'm running right now has worked out really, really well for me. Um, the nice thing about L-Trax, and really like, I am such an enormous fan of it now, uh, I'll put a link to the specific system that I installed because it comes with the aluminum backing plates for everything and, uh, and some heavy duty attachment points and it's a really well thought out kit. Um, it allows you to add an attachment point wherever you need it and plus there's uh, other different fittings. There's some you know, threaded fittings and there's some stud fittings and there's all kinds of cool stuff. So it really allows you to increase the overall versatility of your bed. I also took another strip that wasn't an anchor track set, but it's, it's still the universal l tracks fitting, and I installed it in the back of my bed, but I couldn't back that with an aluminum plate, so I used rib nuts. It seems to be structurally sound. I don't attach anything that heavy to the very back of my truck bed. Um, I did have my high lift mounted to that at one point, and it held up just fine. Uh, I'll keep everyone posted, because that was a recent addition, but I've had the anchor tracks in addition to the deck system for quite a while now, and it's been working out really, really well. Uh, the biggest thing that I was worried about with the um, deck system was security. So, like I said, you can get locks to lock these if your tailgate doesn't lock, but I found a little bit of a better system. I found a company called, I believe it's Pop and Lock, uh, I'll put the link in the description, that makes an electronic actuator. So if you have a truck bed that can be key locked, you can get one of these locking actuators and then tie the actuator in with the current automatic truck system so that when I lock my doors from inside the truck, it also locks my tailgate. And when I unlock it, obviously it unlocks it too, but it also allows me to lock it from my fob. And so that's advantageous because one, it's not another thing that I need to double check. Two, it's really easy to make sure everything's locked. And three, it fits really well with the whole system. It makes it a very seamless integration. 
when they designed these, they were designed such that when the tailgate's up and it's locked, you cannot gain access to the drawer. There's not enough space to reach your hand down, grab the handle and open it any appreciable amount. Um, one of the other things that I integrated into this system that I found to be uh, a necessity was an auxiliary electronic system. So essentially what I did was I piped in some four gauge uh, battery for, or some four gauge wire from the main battery through the frame up and through a hole that I had to drill and then grommet in the side of the bed and then into one of the rear ammo cans. And then I put a small blue C 12 volt fuse block with six fuses as well as the negative bus. That way I could run any sort of electronics accessories back here that I wanted to. Um, I have two 12 volt plugs that actually drilled into one of the ammo cans. I'm sure Deck doesn't like that, but Deck, you should, you should do that. It's really slick and I really like it. Um, that would be a great option. The other thing it allowed me to add was a small switch uh, on the anchor track using one of the little fittings that I talked about, one of the stud fittings, and also run some LED lighting both in the topper and on the top the upper tailgate so then when my drawer is open at night I can actually see what I'm doing. I've got light under the truck bed with the black deck system. I've got light in all my drawers. I can dig around. I can set up camp and also provide myself some working in area lighting. So these are some of my own integrations that have worked out phenomenally well. Uh, the LED light strips were a cheap I think I paid about 10 bucks, but I wasn't able to find the original LED strip lights that I ordered. If you can solder just a little bit, they're a really easy do-it-yourself installation. You run the wiring along, you make sure all your connections are soldered and um, uh, weatherproofed, and the system's held up really, really well for, for quite a long time. Um, now, I'm a huge fan of this drawer system, but I do want to discuss some negatives, some things that I didn't think of an originally that I wish someone would have told me about. Um, the one thing that I found out, I was working on a project uh, installing my Vantech topper, which I'll talk about in another uh, video, my Vantech topper rack. I had to remove the drawer systems to do some welding, and I found that there was kind of a lot of filth and leaves and stuff that had fallen back behind the drawers. I have a spray and bed liner. I'm not afraid of anything rusting, but stuff had accumulated back there. Um, anything that would slide under the drawers would be really difficult to uh, retrieve. So if you lose a screwdriver or something under there, it's gonna be a pain to get at. And while the fit of the top of the deck is really good, it's not perfect and there is a little gap. You could seal that gap, but then you limit the removability of the drawers. So now you've gotta clean whatever sealant you used off every single time you have to remove these drawers <clears throat> or you can do what I'm going to do which is ultimately install a thick rubber mat that will hopefully seal that whole edge up. At one point I considered uh, actually using like some uh, windshield sealant to actually seal all the gaps because you know a truck bed drains it's not a you know completely sealed environment dust can get in water can get in I thought about sealing it but because I have this brand bed liner that already gives my truck immense rust or my truck bed immense rust protection I figured it actually might be better to be able to drain liquid out versus have it pool behind the drawers. But just, you know, it might be worth it maybe once a year to take the drawers out, clean all the scurve out, reinstall them. It's not that big a deal. You know, do a once a year truck cleaning, truck bed cleaning, pressure wash everything, it'll be fine. Um, it does also add another 200 pounds of weight in the back of your truck. Not only that, um, you're gonna have all the space in these drawers because they're huge, they're voluminous. Um, that you're gonna load them full of stuff. So now you gotta start thinking about the rear suspension of your truck. I've got probably about 150 to 200 pounds of topper, and I've got 200 pounds of drawers. You know, let's guess 50 pounds of gear in each drawer. <coughs> That's a lot of weight in the back of my truck. So much so that my stock suspension, which in this F-150 is a little wimpy anyway, is completely level. Now if I hitch up a trailer, I really load this truck down, I start really dipping that rear end. Uh, if I were going to continue to run the stock suspension, I'd definitely do an Adelief, but I am doing an aftermarket suspension that'll accommodate for that weight, so ultimately it's not a big deal, but it's a thing you need to be mindful of if you're installing this. The other thing is, while it adds an enormous amount of utility to the truck bed, it does add about 12 inches of height. If you are running a uh, open truck bed, like if you're using this as like a contractor style setup, if you're running a lot of tools, you don't need a topper, that might not be an issue. I love the topper, I'm a huge fan. I'll probably talk about toppers in a general sense in another video. Um, I lost some storage capacity. I really limited the amount of tall, big things that I can store back here. Now I have a utility trailer 
that I can use if I need to haul big stuff. So that'll cut down on the number of times that I'll need to take this, these drawers out. But if you are using this as your only rig, you don't have a trailer, you are gonna be hauling bigger stuff, furniture, stuff like that. This could get in the way. Um, as I had mentioned before, climbing around back there, if you do have a topper, is now a little bit trickier and a little bit more painful. Um, some of you probably aren't gonna like this fact, Currently, it seems like it's only available for definitely most half ton trucks, some three quarter ton trucks, but it's not available for a quarter ton truck, so the Tacomas don't have one, the Colorados don't have one, the Rangers don't have one. They're currently not available for SUVs, although I think Decked is working on both of those. Um, and they're not available for eight foot beds. They are available for six foot beds um, of most half ton truck manufacturers. Uh, another thing that's worth pointing out, the drawers, while they extend substantially, they do not extend the entire way. That is to say, the back of the drawer is not here, it is not flush. So there is some space back there that's a little more challenging to get to. Is that a huge deal? Maybe. You know, if you're putting long stuff in these drawers, like fishing rods or firearms or, you know, archery equipment, long stuff, that's not a big deal. If you're compartmentalizing a lot more, you know, that could be a little bit of a pain in the butt. I circumvent that by putting stuff back there that I don't use a lot. You know, like I have my jumper cables back there and I've got a couple pieces of recovery gear that I really don't wanna leave home without, but I also am not gonna use regularly, so I can stash it back there. So I organize from, you know, most, most used stuff at the front and then obviously the least used stuff in the rear. Um, that's probably about the worst stuff I have to say about the deck drawer system. Um, the other thing is the price point, kind of. You know, I bought it back in February 2016, it was about $1,200, so it's not cheap. And it's probably a little bit more than a do-it-yourself option, but they really kind of worked all the kinks out of it for you. So you're kind of already good to go with it. Um, so it's, it's quick and easy to install, there's no futzing around, there's no installation. If you're not a DIY guy, this is a great option. And it's also cheaper than everything else I've been able to find on the market. Um, I also have to say that the customer support that I've gotten from Deck with the questions that I've had and questions about accessories has been fantastic. Uh, right now they're doing a promotion, I think it's still going on, where if you order the Deck drawer systems, I believe you get a free decked box, one of the D boxes. I think you might also get some dividers, I'm not sure. Um, but the company, the customer service has been absolutely stellar. I ordered mine direct from Deck. I'd probably advise doing the same just because their customer service is so good and it did ship out really quick. Um, for me, despite all the negatives and despite the price point, worth it, absolutely worth it. Change the game when I'm go out going camping, when I'm out going on these adventures. I have a lot of gear that's already stored back here that lives back here. There's less stuff that I need to pack in for each trip. I can carry more stuff. I can lock it up really securely. It freed up space in the back of my cab. It freed up a lot of surface space. The l tracks, while it's another added expense, the whole system integrates really, really well. I can haul a ton of camping gear back here, have it organized well, everything accessible. I run water, fuel cans, you know, if you're bringing extra tents, you know, you're just regular luggage, whatever you need, there's tons of room back here and it's a lot more usable space. That's the biggest thing. You're not reorganizing to get to that little thing in the very back or some extra batteries or like little stuff. You put all your smaller goods in here, you put your big stuff that you're not gonna use a lot in the very back, and I don't find myself digging around in the back nearly as much. I keep my frequently used tubs up front, like my cook tub lives up front, my water lives up front. You know, the system integrates really well, and it's really clear that it was really well thought through. So, currently, huge thumbs up. Love this equipment. Would advise getting it. If you even think you want these kinds of, this kind of a system, go get one. Guaranteed you're gonna love it. Um, with that, thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to leave as many links to some of the specs of these drawers and the actual decked website and some of the accessories that I talked about in the description. I'll try to roll in as many pictures and videos of the different accessories as I can. And uh, thanks for listening, and I look forward to uh, doing more videos for you guys.